for one uh, the last language for us is a new language which is uh, which used to be spoken but uh, nowadays it's supposedly not spoken in South Africa it's one of the Khoisan languages that has clicks of course um, yeah so we've had lots of candidates for this one and uh, you can compare them while I am uh, looking for my files uh, here of um, uh, new uh, new sound files actually um, or or no right much better to produce with a click because it is a click right okay here we go so new uh, new uh, exercise one was a an alveolar click go 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 right it's quite high intensity goes by very fast and uh, it's uh, obviously an alveolar click right let's see what this person did excellent job on getting it alveolar but it's not voiced it can be voiced but it's not in this case um, yeah it's not voiced in this case there is no voice in here go. The, the voice part go, go. is a vowel that that is following these in fact none of these are voiced it, they can be produced by the but they are not very common yeah okay the next one is uh, this one excellent job on uh, trans on getting this one almost identical as the key and this is a dental one uh, it has a more of this affricated effect dental one right when you are producing these you should follow the instructions on how you should produce them uh, which I explained in uh, videos and on PowerPoint you should also try to suck the air in not out right when you're producing these and it takes a lot of practice to do that do it multiple times multiple times of course um, not overnight right um, but very good job and if, if we compare these two let's compare them this is obviously a very high in intensity alveolar click and this is obviously a dental click right okay the next one is also alveolar excellent job almost identical I am loving this very nice so we have great job here let's play this one again uh, ooh, and uh, flap right excellent job on this one uh, number four is according to this person a dental one but according to our key this one is by labial right it's there is a very subtle difference between bilabial it might be larger in uh, the area right because of the bilabial right something like that instead of right so you would produce that one in comparison to this one okay let me let me combine and compare them so this one is dental and this one is bilabial right there is a subtle difference there and uh, we tried to show you how you can produce them with these here right in examples or how you can transcribe them as well okay so this one was obviously dental uh bilabial and this one is good this one is dental so number five should be dental yeah quite clearly da. Da. yeah only one vowel nice job on that one the next one is again alveolar very good job actually the next three ones are alveolar 
all of them are alveolar i'll combine them and concatenate them to go through these yeah very high in intensity yeah just different uh vowels over there so these were okay these were excellent except for number six which was actually not again not voiced not voiced but generally good job and i would say this one is k k instead of i right a right almost as a canadian raising okay and uh, we've come to the last one uh, which is a an adjective for fricative which i haven't seen to be honest um it does look like it it might be even bilabial right go go yeah it does sound like food go right go 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 but it's actually dental if you transcribe this by labial, I would be okay with that. This is a, this was a difficult one, right? There were no nasal ones, so good good job on doing these, on capturing all of these um, clicks. So remember, ejectives, uh, raise the glottis, hold your breath while producing implosives, lower the glottis. Um, try to maybe lower the voice as well a little bit voice it a lot and clicks to places of articulation and inhale right that would be all good job on these and see you soon